All right, welcome back everyone to another Spunky 2 Daily Challenge. It's February 14th, 2021. Oh, I can't make that jump. Uh, we'll just move on. Oh, I wanted that to be facing the other way. Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? This is actually a nice shop. I don't want to kill Yang. Hmm. Oh god. He almost got me. He made the animation. Alright, so key this level, alter this level. In fact, the key's right there. Oh, how do we get down there? Oh god! <laughs> well, this might kill me. Yeah. I'm just out. I, <laughs> I don't know how to recover from that, like, being thrown into the mid middle of the shopkeepers. Like, what do you do? Basically almost dead. Let's see if we can recover. Oh, that kills the skull. Oh, that kills the skull. Did it again. Alright, two hearts. I think we're going to the jungle. Wait, no. We're going to Volcano because we don't have the Ujidai. And it's easier to get the crown without the Ujidai than it is to get the um, Hedget without the Ujidai. I don't need this 
skull. I'm not sure why I'm carrying it. All right, moving on. in here. Oh no. Didn't anticipate that happening. Uh, I guess we need a rope. Two altars now that we haven't really been able to take advantage of. There's something down there. that didn't hit me if it killed the cat. Maybe a fire guy killed the cat instead. Every damsel has just been destroyed. Destroyed by these firebugs. Oh, I already had that. Um, let me think about that jetpack for a minute. I still grab it. Alright, do we have enough? I think we do. I think it's like nine bombs to get down there. So this is like should just like barely be enough. 
That should help, actually. Where did this treasure chest come from? That's a little weird. So we started 13 and we're down to 6, it's at 7 bombs, that's uh, a lot better than normal. We don't have the Kapala, so I, I think we're going to stick with the jetpack. Probably would be worth trading if I had the Kapala, because I'm so low on health. That's not allowed to tap into the lava, it's interesting. Probably should have looked for the cat, but I was just kind of anxious to get out of Volcana inside a jetpack on. Okay, so there is one crate we're gonna have to come back for. I don't like what's happening here. Oh god, that was perfect and then he got out before I could get down there. Let's, uh, let's just sit here for a second. Oh god. Oh, that was close. Scared me. Thank you. 
Oops. Looked the wrong thing. We gotta get this cat and we gotta get this crate. I think we'll be in good shape. We'll have to be careful in the tide pools, but um, other than that, I think we'll be good. I do that. <laughs> Alright, is there a way for me to deal with this guy easily? I just have to start chucking bombs. And I think I have to bomb this as well now. Oh, I wanted that. Oh god. things that I needed that I didn't have. Let's go down first. Um, okay, um, definitely gonna bomb this thing. bomb this one as well. I feel like those things are the most likely to kill my higher health. Um, followed by these enemies. Let's try to kill some fish while we're at it. I don't want to kill this guy yet. Looked like there weren't a whole lot of fish. Okay, they're all on this side. A thing. That's pretty cool.
Alright, so... I think we're ready. Like, this, there's no fish down here, we just need to do the sun challenge. Get the clone gun down there. Uh, not the star challenge, I mean. Not the sun challenge. Um, oh, there's a fish there. Let me drop this down here. Let's try to kill this fish. And let's go ahead and kill the giant fish. take damage there. I'm pretty sure one hit would have killed me. Um, we need the clone gun now. Alright, nothing good there. And let's, let's get this guy to follow us up. Come on, buddy. Hello? Up, over here? Uh, over here? jump out of our hands. Hopefully he picks up the sword. There we go. I think that might not be a bad idea, actually, to have the teleporter pack when I go into lava room, just in case I make a mistake. Although I don't want to waste all my time um, trying to do that. That's all only have two hearts, we gotta be careful. It's been like the theme of the episode, I think. There's a bear trap there. a hole up here. Oh, what am I doing? I wanted to drop that and then pop down and kill this thing. Let's go ahead and rescue the cat. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Leave my jetpack here. Oh, careful. Well, I guess if I die, I die. Like, there's no reason to leave my jetpack. I don't have the onk. If I had the onk, maybe leaving the jetpack would be a smart idea. In case I died, I'd reincarnate, grab my jetpack without fear of losing it. It's my thought, but we'll see how we do. Leave this here. Alright, that worked out pretty well. I'm gonna find that sword again, which is all the way at the beginning. I 
and amazingly, for as much as got, has gone wrong this run, we're still in it. We're still, we're still okay. Oh god, so I keep making these silly mistakes. Hopefully, hopefully we do this without taking damage. Uh, Hits in. All right, cracked clay bat. Cracked clay bat. Cracked clay bat. Maybe I should, uh, is a teleporter useful at all? I don't know. I was thinking maybe I should have taken it, but I can't think of the use. See if we can find a a mine that we can use to get that cat out. Maybe this maybe this UFO will be good enough. If we can lure it up. I need to come this way though. Why is it running away from me? way.
for their sushi body room. Practically that, for sure. Practically that. Wait, were those? Okay, never mind. I think it would have been cool if there were a way to like eliminate, like if there were like two of, of each of these except for one, so like you could possibly like figure it out if you had a like, infinite time, but you know, um, but there obviously wouldn't be enough time in five minutes, so you kind of have to like guess at the end. If there were like some way to like whittle it down so that you had a chance of getting this right. Practically bad. I think that would have been cool. Oh, climbing gloves almost killed me. I'm just gonna double check that. I don't trust myself today. Cracked clay bat. Uh oh. Why are they mad at me? That guy's really angry. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I, I assaulted Madame Tusk, that's right. Of course they're mad at me. I didn't kill her though, so that's why it spawned, I guess? Uh, I don't know what to do. I feel like I should be able to kill this guy, right? But if I start to... Oh! Where did that come from? So that's that's doing stuff. Getting them. Bam. Take it. That should kill him. And we should be able to get the shotgun at least. How much damage does that do? Two, I think. Okay, so that one's dead. I want to go for the... Oh, I killed some of them. This could be really good. We might be able to get a call out of this. Ooh, and a jetpack. Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, we don't have a ton of time, but... We are well armed now.
drag it down here. I guess we can ride that safely now. Um, well, I guess I could uh, grab the key. I should have uh, grabbed my shotgun first. That would have been smart. Uh, do I want? I don't know. It seems kind of silly to go in there without wanting the the gold. But now I think about it, I don't even know if I want the gold. leave. That was fun though. I guess I should have looked for the damsel to sacrifice that as well and get invigorated. Uh, we've got the Kapala now, so... No choice but to kill our dragon. Oh, that blood did not want to be collected. Okay, we've got a shotgun though, so killing Ton will be easy. Which means we don't have to kill, we don't have to do the Sun Challenge. We just have to remember Ton's gonna spawn at the beginning of every level. And get out of there as quickly as we can. Also need to look for Waddler. Oh god. So the challenge is over to our right. Have we seen Poddler anywhere? Whoops. That didn't damage me, it just sort of did a weird bouncy thing. Alright, we're going in here to look. Okay, Waddler's up at the top. Uh, we should we should look for crates and things. There's still some things that we could use. Oh god. I guess we could just, like, bomb in, right? Is that not a thing we could... I'm kind of curious to see if this works. Okay, that's unbreakable. This didn't look like the normal concrete, so I was a little confused by that. shotgun until we get to Waddler. I'm running out of time.
Oh god. Can I get out of here? Uh, I think I want to go this way. I'm not really sure though. Alright, that was a bad idea. Why can't I hit you? See the arrow trap. How do I get at it? I guess I just bomb up. Try to get a little bit of blood as we move. Oh, I need something to throw. That works. I, I can swear I heard a mouse somewhere, but I have no idea where. We need this, actually. We need to trigger that trap. I can still hear the mouse, I just don't know where. Oh, ropes. You kind of want that. Uh, I guess bomb here. That was close. Uh, how do I get out of here? Um, I gotta get away from the entrance. Let's bomb this. Then go this way. not worth taking damage over. Shotgun's pretty tempting there. Oh god. <laughs> it just bounced right back. That didn't seem fair. But I guess that is how those things behave, so... That shouldn't be a surprise, I guess. Almost lost my arrow there. What do I do? I guess I bomb it this way. Alright, so as far as this goes... We're gonna have to be really careful, because every time we've done this... Since our like first couple of times, we've, been, we've failed pretty hard. And then I think it's just a matter of like taking it slower, being a little bit more deliberate.
Well, that, that seemed pretty good. Like, let them hit each other. Oh god. Alright, that didn't work. That seems like a pretty good strategy, actually. Okay, we're really close to making a mistake there. Not sure how much damage that does, but it feels like we're going to be at it for a while. Stomping on them actually like resets their fire uh, trigger or fire timer. Which may be part of the reason why I've messed this up so many times, it's just not it's not knowing that. Okay, careful. Got a little greedy. does this thing have? Feels like a lot. Oh no! I got greedy. Just needed to be patient. Oof. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for the Splunk Daily Challenge for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.